So we went to the 100 yen store and found all of these cool cooking utensils at the Daiso store. These things are designed to make character bentos which is all over YouTube and I wanted to try it out for myself. Usually they make it by hand without using any tools but these tools are designed for people like me who don't really know how to put it all together. Before we go into me making it, I gotta get Michael's help. Okay. So, this is what I made. I actually didn't use tools for everything because if I do, there's gonna be too many characters. I'm excited to try it. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay. So, first I'm gonna make a rice bowl with a shaker and this face punch. All right, so let's pour it all. All of it, right? No. <laughs> How much do I put in? A little bit. Yeah, my problem is I like to put everything in here. That's too, good. Too much? <laughs> Where's the tool for this? We need a tool. Can I get a blender? What are you making, mochi? I think we have some smashed rice bits already. I made this! I made my first furikake dong. I think that should be good. Yeah. And you shake it? Shake it up and down. We need some music. Oh, look at that! It's crooked. Yeah, but we can fix that. Look. Better. Okay, I just put it in, right? Yeah. And just, then what? Then put it, uh, don't put it too much. Oh. Then shake it again. Then you have to just automatically. Oh, it broke. <laughs> oh, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's stuck. Oh, I just, I think it just broke. Why don't I just roll it myself? There! I did it! <laughs> Four beautiful pieces, and this one's falling apart. <laughs> All right, so we got our rolls here, and then now let's cut it, right? Just like press it down. Oh! I don't get it. And then you get all these pieces. You know what? I don't think that's right. I think what you do is you go like this, and there. Oh. <laughs> There. So I think, yeah, it's easier just to put it on top afterwards. I did it! Can you see that? He has a happy face. That's so awesome. So Michael's an artist. I'm not really so much of an artist. The kid needs to be healthy. Look, they're so happy in there. Aren't you going to use the rest? The rest of the lettuce? No, the rest of the rice. For what? The kid is gonna be hungry. He needs carbs! Oh. Just put both in it. Oh, look, they're so much happier at the top. Can I use one of these things? Michael actually didn't make this one, so I'm gonna make a bunny rabbit. I'm supposed to be able to make a cute bunny with rice, shredded radish, or whatever else you can stuff in this stupid hole. Oh, look at that. Omori means super size. I'm gonna fit in. <laughs> no, you just go like that. Oh, I guess you just shut it and you fill it from the top. That's how you do it. All you gotta do is push it in like that. I think I should have like closed it first and then put everything in. Oh, look at that, I made a bunny. So, she's gonna sit here. Now, let's make a ham flower with this ham cutter. Oh yeah. This ham, it looks so good. Tasty too. So Michael says you put this, you put the ham on the cutting board, and I think you just press down on it. You hold it in half and roll it. Roll it. Oh! Oh, that's amazing! Look at that! It's a flower, it looks so cute. Then I'm gonna make a dope octopus with a sausage cutter set. Alright, so we are gonna make these little octopus sausages. It looks so fake. They look like plastic almost. You just press it down, right? Yeah. Ooh, oh, this is the top. This is the head part, right? Oh, <laughs> he lost his face. <laughs> his lips. Yeah, it got stuck in here. It's like we have the same lips. So cute. All right, so let's get a little bit creative. So this is supposed to be a bear head. Not quite sure what it's supposed to be, but I'm just gonna get flat earth creative with this rice burger maker. Let's take some rice, throw it in there. So this is supposed to be like a cat head, but what we're going to do, how do you take this out? Now what we need, edamame. Check out her little edamame. 
Oh man, it fell off. I'm gonna use some mayonnaise for glue. And there you go. Each legs are splitting. How do I put it in my bento box? Like that. Put his hands like this. Oh, and I can't slip on this ribbon ham cutter. What's this? Let's try this ribbon one. Wait, large size on top, maybe? Just press it down. Yeah. I cut up lunch meat for a ribbon. Look, it's a ribbon. I cut that piece kind of fell off though. You have to roll it. Oh, why did you just undo it? <laughs> it's messed up. Why don't I give it a bear, a bow tie? I thought it was a rabbit. Or the rabbit. And this guy is. He has flowers. This is really a delicate process. <laughs> and look, mine is so much cooler than Michael's. And we decided to make each other bento. So I'm gonna give this to her and she's gonna eat it. No! Alright, so I just made a mess. I'm not that good. I'm still a bit clumsy, but as you guys can see, some of these tools actually work. Some of them don't work as well, and you can actually just use a knife. But it's still pretty cool to play around with some of this stuff and make your own bento. If you guys like this video, help me out. Hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or in Japan, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.